Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can utilize some of the count functions in Calc. So at the top there on this spreadsheet, I've got the count, the count A, the count blank, count if, and count ifs functions. And I'm going to demonstrate each one, starting on the left hand side with count. So the count function, it should really say count numbers like it does in Excel. Um, it just counts how many numbers there are in a list, but just numbers. So if I do that one, equals counts, and I'm typing this, but you can use the wizard if you want. So I'm just going to select this range and close my bracket. So that's looking at that list. I click the tick, and it tells me that there are five numbers in that list. So if I put a, a letter in there, it doesn't count that. So that does not work. It just counts numbers. Just remember that one. This one, however, count A is a more flexible count function because this will count numbers and text, which is I quite like. I think this should be more prominent than, than it is. Equals count A. Open the bracket. Select the range. Close the bracket. I don't actually need to close the bracket. It'll work, but let's just tick that. And that tells me I've got five. So you can see that there's text and numbers inside there, which is great. Now this one is count blank. I've got a list with some blanks. The yellow cells are blank, obviously. Now I want to count that, how many blanks are in this list. So equals count blank. Open the bracket. Select the list that you want it to look at. Close the bracket. Click the tick. And that should come back with three. There are three blank spaces in there. So those are the three basic ones. Then we're coming on to a qualified count. I want to use the count if function and count how many times Dave appears in this list. So if I go down the bottom again, if I go equals count if, open my bracket, select the list. So it's asking for the criteria now. Comma. Criteria is Dave. That's all I need to do. Close the bracket. And then it should tell me that there are two Daves in that list two days in that list now if you're going to use something like this all the time you might want to use a like a little lookup list there which has got all the people so you can just keep selecting different people and then it'll tell you how many there are in that list now the final one is count ifs where you've got a qualified count but this time instead of just one criteria to look at it's going to have two so i want this to count how many managers I've, I've got the appointment manager. How many people have got the appointment manager and are in the sales department? Sales. So let's just do that one under here. So it's count ifs with an S equals count ifs with an S. Open the bracket. So the first range is this list, the appointment. Then I need to do a comma. Then I need to tell it what the criteria is. Now I'm clicking on cells here, guys, but if you haven't got it in a cell, you would have to put the word manager in quotes. That's how it would work. So I always tend to do a cell reference. Comma. So that's the first one. And I also want to count department. Comma. If it says sales. So that's the criteria. And usually I do name things. So I would that would say instead of the cell reference. It would say appointment. And that would say department. I, I like it. It's a bit tidier. Clicking the tick. It tells me there are two people. That are managers in the sales department. So there's manager in the sales department. So if I change that to retail, that should drop that down to one, and it does. So that's all I want to talk about on this little video. The basic count functions that you have in LibreOffice Calc. So hopefully this little video has been of use to you. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.